Simon Brockape and this is Karen Hodge Russell. Um, we're both artists. Um, the piece you see behind us is called Sky Woman Four Seasons. I guess one of the challenges that we as artists are putting into this work is the idea of male female. We're trying to f find a way in which the both of us as artists can work on one piece of artwork and artists don't normally work this way they don't normally work collaboratively but uh, this is an exciting project the sky woman is central to the Iroquois creation story and in the creation story the sky woman comes into this earth from the spirit world the upper world and it's she comes through a uh, hole created by a tree the tree of life that is pulled up and she falls into this world and as she falls into this world animals that you see in the image uh, come up and uh, uh, collect her and bring her down to the earth uh, in a safe way but what we're trying to depict in this artwork is that the sky woman is very much with us today and we've got the four seasons here we've got the spring summer winter and fall and um, we've, we've had a exciting time in working on this piece uh, we've been living with this piece it's actually been in a number of shows it's been in a show in Ottawa uh, it's been in a show in um, Six Nations uh, Indian Reserve in Brantford Ontario and this past summer it was in a show in an Iroquois show in Santa Fe at um, Gary Farmer's new contemporary art gallery I'm Karen Hodge Russell and um, I've been a painter and an art educator for quite a number of years and I um, was working with Simon Brockape and Simon had a very unique and interesting way of creating his paintings and I thought that this collaboration would work extremely well with my ability to paint in layers and to bring uh, color as a symbolic meaning to the paintings. What I found most exciting was the um, uh, creation of, of making Sky Woman appear to be floating through the uh, movement of the porchois or the stencil technique. And I used um, many, many layers of paint, uh, light and dark, and I used uh, some interference material that would cause uh, luminosity and a a nice uh, reflection and a floating feeling to the paintings. Um, I think because of the the different and unusual colors that w that we've that I've used, also depicts the seasons, which help us bring Sky Woman to a more modern um, feeling towards our, our public. There is a um, a strong use of uh, line, a strong use of color, and um, the the space in which Sky Woman. Uh, fits into this particular canvas, I think, is very interesting. I know that the canvas is, is square, and a lot of artists generally don't work with uh, square canvases. Um, but I think this uh, fits Sky Woman into, their, into this surface, into this area perfectly, and it makes you focus on her, her uh, body changes and the color, the sim symbols, the drawings on the body for that particular season and also it can possibly mean the plants that were medicinal uh, and that uh, Native Americans used for those different seasons uh, for uh, health remedies, uh, food or their uh, sustainability. Um, you can see at the in the winter one I've tried to incorporate more uh, uh, cooler colors uh, a little more icy feeling to it uh, and in the summer of course is very bright and uh, we've used primary primary colors here and um, the autumn is blue and mauves so I think those are all very important uh, colors 
that today symbolize those particular seasons.